Hi, welcome to the Center of Maths Prime of the Week. In honor of the Major League Baseball's playoff season happening this week, we have a baseball themed problem for you. Um, and the World Series is a best of seven series, which means that the first team to win four games wins the series. And this year, your favorite team is playing against your uncle's favorite team. And we're going to assume that the teams are equally matched. At the beginning of each game in the series, you and your uncle bet on the game's outcome. And your uncle's a very generous man, so he always lets you decide the amount of the bet. If your team wins the series, you want to walk away with $100. And if your team loses, you want to have only lost $100. The problem asks is how much money should you bet on opening game? So we'll get right into it. We're going to draw a diagram of all possible outcomes of the games. We'll call the team your, that you want to win Team A, and we'll call the team that your uncle wants to win Team B. And the way we have the, our chart set up is it reads from left to right, and if your team wins, it moves down, and if, it move, if your uncle's team wins, it moves up. And it reads from A to B score, so if the score is 1 to 3, your team won one game, and your uncle's team won three. Um, so we already know that if we're betting on individu individual games and th you, they have to win four games to win the series. So you want to walk away with $100 if your team wins the series. Your team wins when the score is four to zero, four to one, four to two, or four to three. And you lose if the score is zero to four, one to four, two to four, or three to four. So we can go ahead and we'll write our, at each, each score, you're either going to have a net winning or net um, losing, depending on how the series is going. So when they lose the series, you'll be out 100. And if they win, you're going to have a profit of 100. And from here, we're going to work backwards to find out how much you should bet on opening game. We'll make a chart. So when the score is 3 to 3, you have to look at both outcome, possible outcomes. Um, it can either result in the score 3-4 or 4-3. We know that your net holdings at 4-3 four, four, is going to be positive 100, and your net holdings at 3-4 to four is going to be negative 100. So to find out your net holdings at 3-3, three, three, you take the average of the two outcomes, which would be 0. And then to find out how much money you should bet, you're going to take half the, half the difference of the two outcomes. And you have to continue on, continue working backwards to find out your bet amount and your net holdings at each score. Once again, all we did to find the net holdings was we looked at which game, which score we wanted to find, and we saw it has two arrows pointing to it because they can either win or lose. Tying is not an option. 
and then we, we worked backwards. So we knew the net holdings from the outcomes, and we took the average. And then based on our whole net holdings, you can find the bet amount. Because if you take, if X are your net holdings at that game, and Y is your bet amount, you know, and Z is your net holdings at the next outcome. So then your bet amount would be half the, av half the difference of the outcomes. And once you work your way down, you see that the bet amount at the opening game should be $31.25. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment below which teams you want to see make it into the World Series. And check out our blog and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.